Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. I have received many queries regarding the water tank design. So today we are going to discuss about the design of underground water tank. The capacity of the water tank is 15,000 liter. So in this video, let's discuss what are all the basic things we need to consider while designing the underground rectangular water tank. So without delay, let's begin now. The first and foremost thing in the water tank design is the dimensions of the tank. That is length, breadth and depth. So the dimensions we need to find out according to the capacity. For example, you may have to design a water tank capacity of 10,000 liter, 15,000 liter or even 50,000 liters or 1 lakh liter. So whatever may be the capacity, first you have to identify the dimensions of the tank and then you have to proceed with the design of the tank next let's look into the design elements so we know the dimensions we need to find out first and after the dimensions we need to look into the design elements so what are all the elements structural elements we are going to design in the water tank design first one is inner wall inner wall is this side this face this face near the water face is inner wall and near the earth face is outer wall these two we need to design and then roof slab Roof slab is the one which is going to cover the tank and then base slab. Base slab is the one which is at the base of the tank. So these four elements are the major elements we need to design. Before proceeding the design of the water tank, let's look into the pressure diagram. So here we have the soil reaction. Soil reaction on base slab. As we have discussed, we need to design the base slab as well. So on the base slab, we will be getting the soil reactions and then here if you see inner side, you will be having the water pressure. So the water pressure will act on the inner surface of the wall like this. So this is the pressure diagram when the tank is full of water. Next let's look into the pressure diagram for earth pressure. So we will be having the earth pressure on the outer face of the wall and on the inner face of the wall we will be getting the water pressure. So water pressure on the inner surface of the wall and earth pressure on the outer surface of the wall. So the pressure diagram looks like this for earth pressure, water pressure and we will get the soil reaction on the base slab. Now we know the design elements. What are all the design elements we need to consider while designing the water tank and we know the pressure diagram. Let's start finding out the dimensions of the water tank. So the capacity we know 15,000 liters. So let's find out the volume of the tank so that we can find out the dimensions of the tank. So for that we need to know this one, 1 CFT is equal to 28.3 liters. So our capacity of the tank is 15,000 liters, 15,000 divided by 28.3 we get 530 CFT. This is the volume of the tank. We know the capacity, we know the volume of the tank. 530 CFT is the volume of the tank. So here let's assume the depth of the water tank. Let's assume the depth as 6 feet. Approximately we can assume the depth as 6 feet. So we know area is equal to volume divided by depth. We know the volume of the tank as 530 CFT and depth as 6 feet. So from this we can find out the area. Area is 88.3 square feet. We can write the area as length multiplied by breadth is equal to 88.3 square feet. So from this we can find out the breadth. Let's take L is equal to 2B. So from this equation we can find out the B. So B is 6.64 feet. So we know the B breadth of the tank and then we can find out the length of the tank. Length of the tank is equal to so we know L into B is equal to 88.3 that is L into B area is equal to this much square feet. So in this if we substitute the value of B we can find out the L value. So L is 13.29 feet. So if we convert this one into meter it is 4.05 meter let us consider as 4 meter and then breadth is 6.64 feet that if we convert that comes around 2.02 meter let us take it as 2.1 meter and then depth we have assumed as 6 feet that is 1.83 meter so let us round, round off and take it as 1.8 meter. So we got the tank dimension as 4 meter, 2.1 meter and 1.8 meter. Now let us find out the volume of the tank which is equal to 4 multiplied by 2.1 multiplied by 1.8. This is the dimensions tank dimension. So we get the volume as 15.12 meter cube. So 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters. So from this we can find out the capacity. 
so 15.12 meter cube is equal to 15.12 multiplied by 1000 so we get 15,120 liter as we wanted to design the tank for 15,000 liters we get the same amount of capacity next let's look into the design parameters unit weight of soil is 18 kilonewton per meter cube angle of repose is 30 degree M20 grade concrete and Fe415 steel. Size of the tank is as we have arrived 4 meter by 2.1 meter by 1.8 meter. So these are all the design parameters. So for this conditions we need to design the water tank. As we have discussed in the beginning we will have to design the inner wall as well as outer wall. So the tank will be designed for two critical cases. One is when the tank is full, that is the tank is full of water. Second one is the tank is empty. So for these two cases, we need to design the water tank. So friends, let's end up this video here. In the next part of this video series, let's continue with the analysis of case one and case two. I hope you all like this video. Do comment in the comment box. And if you really like the content, hit the like button and also share it with your friends. And if you want to continue with this kind of video series, kindly comment in the comment box. And if you feel the content is useful to you, super thanks button has been enabled in our channel. Below video, you will be getting the super thanks button. By clicking on that, you can just pay the minimum amount to support the channel. And don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.